All right, now for the second part of the homemade butter. We're gonna make some homemade biscuits. They're probably the easiest thing in the world to make a biscuit is, but we're gonna do it old school, make them taste good. Need your unwashed seasoned iron skillet. Get these about anywhere. I get mine at yard sales mostly. We need flour, buttermilk, Our key player, bacon grease. Good stuff. So we're gonna get a spoon of this going in our skillet over on the stove to grease your pan. Get All right. We've got our oven preheated at 400 degrees. Now, we need flour. If you're looking for an exact recipe, you're talking to the wrong guy. So we need a little bit of flour. Buttermilk makes the best ones. I love the crunchy crust on the bottom and around the back that you get with an iron skillet. So, buttermilk. Now we want this thick, like brick mortar. You can tell when it's ready because it'll get really elastic and hard to stir. I use self-rising. You can use baking powder and regular flour and salt if that's what you want to do. This is just a lot easier for me. I don't do a whole lot of baking, so self-rising is great. All right, here's what we're looking for, that sticky, elasticy. Got our grease ready in our skillet. Now how I do it, I just put little dollops all the way around through there. And we call that a wagon wheel. You just pick your biscuits off it, they come apart fairly easy. I like little crunchy biscuits. You can make them thick as you want. All you gotta do is make your mix a little thicker to get them to stand up. Now, we get a little bit of the grease that's popped up in between them on our fingers. We smooth them out. Don't need it to be like eating a chestnut burr or something. That's how easy biscuits are in an iron skillet. Now we're going to pop it in the oven at 400. I'll give you a roundabout time on that. Ooh. All right, it's been uh, 45 minutes on the biscuits. We're about to break those out. Joe. Golden brown. So this is a 
exactly what I was talking about how your biscuits just pull off. We're going to take one of those. I'm going to open that baby up. Get some of our homemade butter we just made. Those biscuits are good and hot. Now butter in a biscuit, fresh butter in a biscuit. I can't think of much better than that. Maybe titties, maybe butter on titties. Might have something with that. But uh, I'm going to holler at Jake and get him over here and let him sample it since I can't have none right now. Dieting. Jake. We'll let him give us a taste test. It's really hot. It's really hot. <laughs> well, I didn't figure you'd take half the biscuit, man. That is really good. That could probably be a meal in itself right there, guys. Just, uh, you already got flour. And to be honest, you probably don't even need milk or buttermilk to make a biscuit. You could probably do it with water. But, uh, yeah, probably $6 for the thing of buttermilk. And uh, I already had the flour, bacon grease we save it. We use it like cooking all around here. So, uh, yeah biscuits and uh, homemade butter.